What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. We're early on a Thursday with a bit of a round for you guys and just showing you everything that's new and that has been added on Thursday. We know the big update's going to be coming next week on the 6th of June or around that time. But we do have new campaigns, objectives, cards, and obviously all the goodies um, if you are still interested in them on a Thursday. I mean, it still needs a big update, but let's see what we do have today. So there is a brand new campaign and there is also a brand new victory campaign as well. And that is tied to new objectives as well here. So you can still spin for Beckenbauer. They've re-added new objectives onto this so that you'll be able to spin a little bit more for Beckenbauer. They've actually added a lot more spins to this where you now have to score a total of 18 goals in the objectives here in the eFootball League. And that will extend out again to playing against the AI and playing and scoring goals against the AI as well. So I think in total, there's probably about another 15 spins that you can get on Beckenbauer with the login bonus as well. So you can continue to do that. There's also at Atalanta rewards and objectives here as well if you keep clean sheets using Lookman and score using Lookman in these teamed events right so first you obviously have to spin and get him um, but that is what the objectives are tied to match pass is still ongoing as normal and then when you go over here to the Atalanta uh, one here so this is a winner's campaign obviously they're partners with Konami Atalanta the eFootball and Giant has won the European Cup competition to celebrate we'll be holding a commemorative campaign do not miss the chance to sign players and you will get one in your login bonus as we've already got here and it'll be in your inbox and the other will be from a teamed event right so this teamed event is the one that you can continue to play against the AI or whatever it is it is you want to do there's also when you go into your inbox here you're still going to have your Beckenbauer uh, campaign but that is the victory campaign one here as as well which is the Atalanta gift so now when we go back out here into the to the packs we're going to have that free spin here at this one right and that's basically it and once you get your free spin um depending on who it is it'd probably be look man there we go now we'll be able to throw him into the pitch and uh, throw him onto our squad and complete those objectives and you'll get another two for playing the events which will be a max of three and then you can sign the two other players if you want for 100 coins each you don't have to sign them in terms of the player of the weeks we do have bruno tony cruz and a couple of other players in here stevens is there as well nuna mendez ter stegen ter stegen getting the bin uh, me and him have war every time uh, that he plays in the squad he's banned from the club nico williams you have marcus lorente you've got jeru uh, with a special little box art there jeru can actually be pretty decent man as a 93 overall but yeah the player of the weeks need a lot uh, need a a lot now i think to kind of re restart the excitement in player of the weeks they were fun at, a, at, a, at one stage you also have nuna mendes as you see here and of course icardi um which is not a bad pack i mean tony cruz that was just released is probably better than this guy by a lot even with the booster so i'm going to do a quick review on those um but yeah they're not too exciting and as well as that man the showtime we thought we might get ronaldo we thought we might get a couple of big time players like bellingham or something like that but we actually get the J League monthly MVPs. So these here are in a pack of 100. And you've got some pretty decent players in here. Um, but it is mostly going to be, uh, you know, a lot of... Like, you're not going to spend, I don't think, 100 players in here to get somebody to then have to rebuild your team around all of these. You know, you, you want to play with your main players. If you're used to spinning, you're not going to be leaving the likes of Romario, Saviola, Nesta, any of those, Araujo on the bench in favor of having a J-League only squad. The Atalanta pack is still there, and obviously the Spanish League attackers, our midfielders, is still ongoing. And of course, next week as well, it looks like we will be having Spanish League attackers or European attackers. So this is the European attackers one. I think this is what it will be, man. It'll be um, international attackers, sorry, not European. So you've got Ribery, Torres and Forland that have been updated. But again, take that with a pinch of salt. We'll try to confirm a few things and get back with a dedicated video on that as well. So um, they've also, as I said, they've also added Beckenbauer spins. So you get extra Beckenbauer spins there. You can continue to spin for Beckenbauer um, with all of these. And then obviously keep going with that. I think you're going to eventually have a load of spins on Beckenbauer. I mean, let me know in the comments below if you've got Beckenbauer already. Um, nothing in the shop, lads. There is nothing left in the shop there. There is no players that have been added. I'd say they'll wait until the next big update to do that. So that's something there that'll probably disappoint you guys if you're if you're uh, if you're doing that. And then also on top of that as well, we do have a brand new event that they've added called Level Up. Um, so this one here is going to be uh, against the tour event here. It's called Italian League uh, Club, and it is going to be a, basically they have their own. Um, 
If you have the Atlanta event here that you're going to get a free spin from and get two free spins from, that's just against obviously the AI. And then the flexible one is there. But any of these ones that have the sticker, they have three times the experience. So again, when you go back out to this here, to the main banner, I don't know why they don't really explain this here because I know a few people will ask me. This is the extra level up campaign and it says get tripled experience points as well as rewards useful for training in events. There's special login bonuses there for the training and then you get all Dream Team events and eFootball League are going to be getting three times the experience points. Now this is handy, I would say if you're signing new players, you want to rank up players very, very quickly. Um, that is one way of doing it, obviously, because they don't have the free reset there anymore. And it's going to be a quick way that instead of a thousand points a game, you might be getting two and a half, three grand, three thousand points, right? But that is essentially it, boys. They've nothing really else added to this. Free reset is still ongoing um, or is, is gone completely. So that won't come back, I'd say, until the next big update. The daily game is still ongoing as well. That's something that a lot of people want to see refresh. But it is mostly about those packs. It is kind of a disappointing one. I don't think that there's going to be any... Um, real point in getting those showtime players we'll do a review on the player of the weeks as well i think even this penalty system needs to be redone again and just have different awards rather than what we're continuing to get but let me know in the comments below what you guys think obviously it's nice to have the atlanta tie-in with look man and be able to work towards objectives that'll keep us busy for a little bit but let me know what you think and uh, i will see you in the live stream in just a little bit peace